time now is 640. Windmill farmers, windmill farm owners that is, are getting smarter when it comes to tracking down their own stolen copper. This has been an ongoing issue happening for years, costing the companies thousands in repairs. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez visited one of the wind farms to find out how these thieves are getting so lucky. Copper is on the mind of thieves as they take to the wind farms to steal the metal. We think it's very well protected with these locks down here and the locks here. Steve Avila owns Wintech Energy. It's the piece of land many of the windmills stand on north of the I-10 in Palm Springs. For the last two years, this has been an ongoing issue hitting these business owners. The price of copper is a pretty good price. So these thieves are coming in the middle of the night when it's pitch black out here. They're bringing their power tools, coming and cutting it through fences like this one and just squeezing right in here and looking for copper. Recently, things have started to look up for windmill farms. Several different owners now taking initiative to track the metal themselves. The companies did not want to disclose how exactly so it can continue capturing criminals. I think a lot of these criminals are taking a, a significant risk when they're going out there and they're dealing with copper in most cases because there's that potential of electrocution. But really the impact that it's having on the companies because you're talking about a windmill that's down and then the cost of just repairing the damage. Walking through WinTech Energy's wind farm, we saw copper casings, broken locks and several cut fences trashed on the land thanks to thieves trying to make a buck. The Palm Springs Police Department says it is continuing to work with these businesses to come up with solutions to the thefts. In the meantime, they can use some help. We hope with some of these recyclers that they can look at this product and realize that it's potentially stolen property. Crystal Jimenez, News Channel 3. Hmm. It's been it's a relentless a offer theft. Yeah, it's been going on for a while too. Feel bad for those guys. 642 is the time now. At least 22 states, 35 million Americans there in the path of severe weather. How residents in some states are already dealing with a one-two punch to their communities. That's coming up. You are watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. Breaking news, y'all. I'm here to present Educator of the Year. The award goes to Gregory Eddy. This is Gregory Eddy. You, you, with your fine silly ass. Yeah! Look at us. Two young guns killing awards season. Go ahead and clap for me. Clap, clap.